it's finally time another sketchbook tour um it's been a while since the last one and i know a lot of you have been wanting another one i would have done it sooner but um if you watched my previous video i explained that um well i haven't been here so i couldn't film it anyway this is number 14 it's another big one it's the same brand as my previous one which is a Leuchtturm 1917 it's covered in stickers again, um, and I will I will put it up on the screen which sticker belongs to who. This one and this one are mine. Um, and then on the back, I started sticking some like random things on the back as well, just because I like having I like having things on the back now. Um, so yeah, that's my sticker. That's mine. That's mine. And that's mine. And then these are just things from the internet. But look how thick this is, like... What is in this? I think I added like loads of extra pages because this is like the thickest one yet, I think. But let's get into it. Gosh, I can tell this one's gonna take a while. So this is the title page. It's not really got a title anymore, but it's the starter page. Um, my, this is so warped. So I always like to draw something on the first page. So here I've got my like alien desert OC who I can't remember. I don't think they have a name. Um, and I really love how the background turned out. I love that so much. Um, and then this page I just stick random things that I accumulate over the course of using the sketchbook. So my brother and I got some Magic the Gathering cards for the first time, which was fun. Thank you card from Filiers. Packet for a marshmallow chocolate treat thingy. Call of Duty. My Spaceman, One Piece. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and Moon Knight, Always Sunny. And then another voucher down here. Yeah, and then on this page, cause this page is usually really awkwardly stuck. I usually just use it to plan out the title page as you can see I have multiple and then this is the one that I went for okay yeah um, so we start with some 1899 I think is what it's called uh, fan art um, I was watching the show and I was a little obsessed with it um, so I drew some characters from it and I'm so upset that show got cancelled. It's by the same people who made a dark and then it just got cancelled and I'm so annoyed because I was hooked I loved this show so much. I tried doing some gouache painting with them. Um, this was when I was still kind of new, like I hadn't used gouache that much. Um, and I was really happy with how these turned out. Like it took ages um, and I made a lot of mistakes that I had to keep going back and fixing. But yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out considering like I hadn't used gouache that much. This is another gouache painting based on the one of the lamb ideas from an Inktober thing I did in the previous book I think it was and then um, I got bit by the Call of Duty bug um, so that's what this is just some some of my favorite characters not him maybe him and then an ooblet because I was playing the ooblets this is just a random drawing of my OCs Clarissa and Bertha um, that just came to me for some reason and then I don't think I drew any more of them for a while um, and then a cyberpunk page because I am constantly going in and out of my cyberpunk obsession. Yeah, this is, I, I did a load of um, Call of Duty art digitally. Um, so I just wanted to stick them in so that I had some sort of like memory of them because I always forget what I've done digitally. Oh yeah, this is when I watched Internet Mum Ash watching Arcane. And I really enjoyed her watching it, but when I tried to watch it myself, I just couldn't get into it, and I have no idea why. Because like I, I was really, really enjoying it while she was watching it, which is strange. I think I just preferred it being like condensed and cut down, and having her commentary over the top. Just did some gouache paintings of some of the characters, and then I kept these two as ballpoint pen with a little bit of colour over her hair. This. It's just a random Captain America page for some reason. I wish I could remember why. I think as a lot of you know by now, I've kind of gone off Marvel, so I don't know how much more you'll be seeing of fan art in the future for Marvel. <laughs> this is Modern Warfare 1 because I couldn't afford Modern Warfare 2 and this one was on sale, so 
yeah, I've played that game like three times now. Um, which isn't saying much, it's quite a short game considering. Because I think it's just really made for the online aspect, but I only play the campaigns. Uh, this is a this is another cyberpunk moment. Um, I really love Kerry and V, so that's what this is. Also, Victor is my favourite, so. Uh, some more. Oh, I didn't realise how much I'd done of this. Just interactions between Kerry and V. This, I think, is actually the beginning of my cowboy phase. I don't know why. I, I think I'd seen someone do like some nice simple drawings of cowboy related stuff. So I drew a cowboy boot for, for no reason. Like it doesn't really fit on this page, but yeah, that's why that's there. And I think that is like the cowboy phase comes into it eventually. Oh, I guess it starts here actually. This is Spaceman Rick, my OC. Um, I don't really do much with, but I come back to sometimes. And I guess I turned him into a space cowboy as well. Oh, this was fun. This is him just wrangling, I guess, a space monster plant. And over here is when I decided to watch Lord of the Rings. I'd seen it a lot when I was younger, but it was one of those things where it was my parents who put it on and they watched it so much that I kind of couldn't stand it and for ages I'd said that you know I didn't like Lord of the Rings and I hated it and then for some reason last year I decided to give it a go and I I absolutely love Lord of the Rings. I'm really happy to say that I, I love it. It kind of felt like an unfair um, opinion I had of it. I just couldn't stand it though because my parents were obsessed with it. So yeah here's just some of the characters from it. I feel like when I started this book, you can probably tell I'm not actually too comfortable using it. Like that's why there's tons of blank spaces. Like as soon as I started this book, I immediately didn't want to use it because I was like, it's it's so big. Like it, it is a really big book. It is bigger than A4. And immediately it had put like a, a, a downer on my mood towards drawing. So I was really trying my best to just power through it, but I can see that I wasn't enjoying it. Um, anyway, we got some Legolas who quickly became my favorite. Initially it was Boromir, who I still love, but um, you know, now it's Legolas. And I can't draw him without giving him sparkles. That's just a rule now. This is when I finally got Resident Evil 2 Remake. I'd been wanting it for ages and like, I think so many sketchbooks back you'll, you might have seen when it came out, I did some fan art for it. And now I, I finally, I finally got it. I finally got to play it and I love that game so much. It, everything about it is so satisfying. Um, and I think this might have been around the time that the number four remake was also announced. So it was like really fresh in my mind. Let me go on to some Mass Effect because for some reason at the beginning of each year, it, it I get the mood for it again. So yeah, this was a small, mass effect moment um and this was another kind of redraw of of something that i'd done for a couple of years but i haven't I haven't done this time i don't know if i'm gonna do it again um of my shepherd with vega flexing muscles i will put it up on the screen um and you can see the previous ones that i've shown you guys here we go this is the cowboy start um and i do think it was it was purely because of shay that i got into it because um, I came across her account on Instagram um, and I think one of the first videos I saw was either her Patrick Bateman video or her cowboy video and I just suddenly was like yeah I need to draw I need to draw a cowboy um, and it was at the same time I think The Last of Us was coming out so that's why Pedro's down here or should I say Joel <laughs> some more some more cowboys. Um, this one's Arthur and then two random cowboys I got off Pinterest. But this one looks a lot like um, Julian, in my opinion, um, Julian Solomita. Um, but I really love how this turned out. This is when I was experimenting more with using colored pencils. And then this page is when I finally watched Bullet Train and I understand now what the hype for these two characters was. I love them so much. And I love that film, it's a really good film. Okay, here's the um, the Pedro cowboy bit. I went back and watched Kingman, Kingsman, Kingsman 2, which isn't a great film, I have to say, but it is like the first thing that I ever saw Pedro Pascal in years and years and years ago, or whenever it came out, um, and I had a huge crush on him, naturally. So I went back to watch it and did some 
drawings of him you got this fun interactable bit this is just a planning page really um this is when gsjj reached out about doing a collaboration so this is where i did the planning for the pin that was this one and this turned into the lanyard and well if you want to know my thoughts on that you can go see the video but um let's just say it wasn't very positive this pin up julian um because i think this is around the time that i got the ohuhu collaboration as well so i was using the alcohol markers a lot and that's where that came from oh uh, yeah here <laughs> this is the first collaboration i think i did on my channel um i think up to this point i hadn't done any like proper making art in a video videos uh, so yeah this is what i this page here specifically is the first one and it is it's really fun actually to look back on i know it's like almost a year ago but it feels like so long ago now um especially since i'm more comfortable just making videos in general and then this side is where i was just messing around with some of the pens again and i think i was watching moonlight again oh here we go yeah uh so i did a whole page for Stephen, <laughs> um as well as this one this was meant to be I, I really liked the image that i found of him in this position i thought it would look really effective if i literally just painted the skin on show to kind of see if it would still give the impression of what he was doing because this is when he was like cowering in the elevator and then i just did some like wake me up songs in the background for some reason yeah this is using the ohuhu pens again this is just acrylic paint this is when shay had her draw this in your style of her cowboy soul or strawberry soul sorry these bears are completely unrelated this is for a little project i was doing um but i wanted to this, this was just meant to be planning for strawberry soul but then it kind of finished a bit you know like i finished it a bit um, and then this strawberry down here is to cover up the sketches I did for the bears. I really like how it looks. I tried to take a more sort of like sketchbooky approach with this sketchbooky, I mean scrapbook approach with this sketchbook where I just like stick things in as I feel like it and I just leave things messy or half finished, which is really what this page is. This is quite a um, basic page. <laughs> Um, and this is the very, very first drawing of my OC clay when I was still trying to figure them out. Because after drawing Shays, I was like, I really, really want a cowboy character. So that's what happened. Uh, this was another one I did of Saul that I ended up not posting just because I'm not a huge fan of how it turned out. Especially this green on the background, it just doesn't work as well as I feel it did on this page. Um, and then this is Prickly Alpaca because I just felt like drawing some of her costumes that she made, um, or these two specifically. Um, and I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out, um, especially these, they kind of give Zelda vibes in my opinion. But um, again, using Ohuhu markers. This is just another random page. I stick a lot of pages in to cover up the other side when I'm using alcohol markers um, and this whole page was kind of like a challenge of just drawing with biro without having any initial sketch first which is why this one looks terrifying and this one I find quite funny as well I was trying to do a fisheye lens yeah this is just a protective page because I did some gouache paintings of some landscape from the Witcher 3 game I'm really happy with how it turned out but I also didn't realize that I put Geralt <laughs> on the same side in each section um which kind of bothers me now but um i like that i kept them mostly blues with a little bit of orange in each, each one these are my pokemon characters redrawn um, i did them ages ago and then i was just in the mood to draw them again um and i had these tombow or tombow i don't know how you say it pens that i was just using for coloring accents this this Bulbasaur makes me very happy. So um, because I'd done this, I was in a Pokemon mood. I felt like redrawing the psychic, felt like redrawing the psychic character. Why can't I say that? The psychic character here. I actually filmed a video for it, but um, it was at a point where I think I was traveling. So I kind of got behind on editing it. And then I'd already filmed so many more recent videos 
that it just never got finished. Along with another video, I filmed something else in this book that never became a video. Um, and this was supposed to be two paintings from Studio Ghibli that I just gave up on. They were using gouache as well, but this scene is quite a detailed and complicated scene so this little bit here took a lot longer than i intended to i was i was going to do it all really simple but just kept going in with details so because i started with this one i just didn't even try with this one this one was supposed to be the greenhouse scene in kiki i don't like this one as much then just some more pokemon this flips up so you can see psyduck i guess these are some designs for when I was doing the GSJJ video. They were meant to be like little avatars of me and I think I might have used them all, I'm not sure. And then just Zoro and Sanji to fill the space at the top. I needed to do some wrench in this book so because I was still in a Pokemon mood I decided to combine them. Um, as I do a lot. I think actually this is based on something I'd done in the past where I had drawn Haunter with Wrench and I, I really like how it turned out, um, especially this up here. It's, it's not hugely dynamic but it is more than what I usually do so I am quite happy with it. And I gave Marcus a Neuvern. I just think it suits him. This is when I got into a huge One Piece phase again. Um, so I was redrawing these two are redraws from one of my favourite One Piece films. Baron Matsuri's Island? Did I just make that up? I really like the art style for that film. It's like completely different to the art style for the other films. I don't know if it's the same studio, but it reminds me of the people who did like the girl who, who leapt through time. Yeah, these two are because I was still in a bit of a cowboy mood. Um, and this is Sanji from Strong World and Luffy from the movie Gold. Yeah, so they were kind of like cowboy so I thought I'm gonna draw them. This is, um, I did a little video of this, I think it's here on YouTube. It's definitely on Instagram, but this is doing a challenge by this person up here where it, I don't remember what it's called, but it's where you have it on your, on your phone on Instagram. It reels through a bunch of different options for like the body, the face, the eyes and stuff and you um, hold it down and whatever it lands on is what you have to draw. So I did these two characters here. This is the one that I filmed and this is another one that I just did for fun that turned out um, a little weird. I definitely like this one and I... This one... Um, I don't know. But they were fun. I was, ha I was in a moment where I think I was going through a bit of an art block. This is I was trying to plan out some One Piece merch that I never did anything with. Um, and I might come back and touch upon them in the future, I haven't decided. These two were going to be keyring charms, which I drew down here initially. Then I wanted to make a Robin sticker and a Brook key charm. Here is another page that I did film for a video, um, but I didn't do anything with. It's um, one piece with Howl's Moving Castle. Again, I think I'm just going to let that one disappear into limbo. Lumbo. And then this page is all I did for Mermaid that year. Oh, no, it's March. I was like, when's when's May? Um, I was like, that's coming up soon. No, I've got another month or so. Um, I'll probably do something again this year. Uh, this is my second Ohuhu collaboration. Um, where I did, I, I touched more upon my OC clay. Um, I'll, I'll link the videos that, when, when I come across the pages like this, I'll link the videos of doing them. So you can find them down below. I'll try and do the information card in the top corner, but that hasn't worked for me before. So I guess we'll see if it works on this one. This was meant to be, oh yeah, I, can't, I gave up, you can see. This one was meant to be a painting of the great fairies from Breath of the Wild. And I did these two, well I didn't even finish her, and then I just stopped. Um, I was enjoying it, and I was filming it, that's another thing I was filming. But um, I just lost motivation. And then this side is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, because I went through a greek phase again this is actually a thumbnail of when i did what's his face it's been so long i can't remember their names i'll put it up on the screen but i drew them from mermaid years ago oh this is a beautiful page lovely um i don't know why i don't know what i was doing i might was i reusing paint 
I don't know, but I never did anything with it. And then these are characters from Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I think this is when I got it. So I was playing it and drawing these three characters. This, I did a little video on as well, like a really quick short, I think. This is when Across the Spider-Verse came out, I think, but I hadn't seen it yet, which is why the designs are their original designs from Into the Spider-Verse. I, I was really into it. I was really seeing all the Spider-Men and Spider-Sonas everywhere. I was really getting into it. So um, I initially was just drawing these three and Deadpool. Um, and then while I was doing a drawing of one, of one of them as a cowboy, it just kind of changed and it became my Spider-Sona or Spider-OC. Um, and I love them so much. They're so fun. The poncho is so fun to mess around with. And I called them Web Slinger. That was before I realised there was an actual Spider-Man called Web Slinger. I mean, it makes sense because it's quite an obvious name. Yeah, I really like it. They've got this fake gun. And just drawing all these little interactions and how, how they would work was just so fun. Oh yeah, and then Pride Month. It was Pride Month. So I think I did a video on, on this. I drew them for Pride Month here and here. This one is actually a drawing um, of her making fun of her old design because I have kind of based it or, or implying that the old spider sonar I drew back when Into the Spider-Verse came out, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it's like an update of their design. So she's kind of like calling her old design out because it was so basic. And these are just some of the post-it notes thumbnail doodles that I based most of it on. This is when I got into Hannibal, seriously. So I'd already watched, I think the first season and a half um, over like a couple years. Then I stopped and then I picked it up again and I finally like blasted through and finally finished the show. So that's why I've got some blue boys on here. Will is my favorite. He's an absolute pathetic man that I love. Pathetic, not in a, not in a mean way, in a um, affectionate way. <laughs> um, affectionately pathetic. This was fun, this was using um, two different types of blue pens. So he's got one blue, Hannibal's got the other, and then I, it was missing something, so I used this pink Tombow pen as like an accent for everything, and um, I really like how it turned out. And then this page was doing the whole using a biro without an initial sketch again. Um, oh, except I did do it a little different. These are the um, Tombow pens that I keep talking about. What I actually did is I did the very initial structure with these, and then I went over it with the biro. And these two, while a bit iffy, I really like, they turned out okay. This one killed me. I hated it. His, his eyes kept messing up, his mouth kept messing up, so it looks a bit funky. And then over here are just Will and some of his dogs, although I don't think that one's his. I think that one's Alana's. Yeah, I had to. I had to. They're iconic. Um, and then because I'd been drawing Will's dogs, I had to draw my dog, my baby boy, Manchi. But what I thought was funny is how I'd drawn him here is he kind of looks like a three-headed dog, so I kind of Cerberus, cerberus him down here which I kind of, I really want to do more of. I keep forgetting that I did this and I really love how it looks. I really should draw more of him as a Cerberus-like dog. And then over here, I think I was just running out of things to draw. So I was doing my OCs again. So this is Spider, Desmond and Greta. And this was me messing around if I wanted to change Spider's outfit because she doesn't really get as many outfit changes like I think Caesar and Kara are the ones who get to change outfits the most um so yeah I think I should try changing their looks a bit more um and then this is just a random OC that I made I think I saw something on Pinterest so I I think it was the outfit maybe I'm not entirely sure I finally gave this character a name um who was that was suggested by Maniacal Milk um, she's called Riley now, so I'm kind of just saying that like, they're a couple. And then I got into Dragon Age again, which has happened, I think, for this book and the last previous book as well now. For some reason, I've been getting back into Dragon Age. Um, like I think I mentioned before, I went off it for a while because I kind of burnt myself out 
like I had too much Dragon Age and I think it, my relationship with it is slowly mending so I romanced Blackwall I think uh, finally because my tastes have changed yeah just a page um, I really liked that I found an image online Um, I will put the reference here or I will put the image here I used it for reference and I drew my character and black wall here and I just really like the idea of him being so dramatic because you know if you've played it you know that black wall can be quite dramatic. This is my Kunari character. I was designing a new outfit for him because without mods the base game armor can get a bit boring after a while uh, except for the grey warden armor. That armor is always elite. So I was just making up some armor that my my boy would wear but I uh, I got lazy halfway through actually finishing it. Yeah just some more doodles of him and Cassandra, Iron Ball and Cullen. These are my horses that I just really wanted to draw because I don't really draw them that often or if at all actually I don't think I draw them at all and I need to practice drawing horses. I I have a general idea of how to do it but I need to Oh, my wrist just broke. Um, I need to get better. This is another Ohuhu collaboration. They sent me some refills to try and this is what I came up with as, as a way of incorporating them into the video itself. I will link that video as well. For some reason, my mind just jumps all over the place. So for some reason I was in an, in an, in, in <laughs> I can't say that, in an, uncharted mood. Wow, I'm really good at speaking. Um, so I drew Sam Drake because he's great. He's voiced by Troy Baker and if you know me you know I love Troy Baker so automatically like characters voiced by him because I'm not shallow. This is when I got Resident Evil 4. Is it? It must be. I love that game so much. I think I prefer Resident Evil 2 because, this is going to sound bad, but Leon's more pathetic in Resident Evil 2. Like, I love him in Resident Evil 4, but there's something about him being pathetic in the first game that I just, I love so much. Um, but this game was amazing. I loved it so much. I might go back and play it again. Ada was amazing. They changed voice actress for her, I think. I think I prefer this new one. Like it was it was a change that I had to adjust to, but I think I prefer the new one. This is with my RTX collaboration. I'll share the video for that as well. I've also just done another RTX collaboration if you want to go check that one out too. This is some more Resident Evil. Yeah, um, because I also love... What is his name? I say I love him, but I don't remember his name. Oh, wow. What is his name? Oh, that's embarrassing. Well... Apparently I love him, but <laughs> do I really? And then this is the merchant up here, um, and this is because I was listening to Spellbound by Susie and the Banshees at the same time. Um, yeah, I drew this of him. I think it's when he's opening his coat, but then I thought it looked funny to have all these hearts being thrown at him. Yeah, I think this page speaks for itself, especially since I can't remember its flipping name. But um, this was also because I was listening to Weird Science by... Is it Onga Boingo? Oingo Boingo? Hmm. No, it's really bothering me that I can't remember his name. Oh well. Um, yeah, and then this is <laughs> some more of them um, because I really liked their dynamic through the game. This is Pokemon because I got into Pokemon again for some reason. So I just drew some of my favourites um, and this is using the RTX pens. This is the first time that I have drawn Totodile or any of his evolutions and actually liked it. So I, that's a plus. Yeah, so still on the Pokemon mood. I don't like this Totodile. <laughs> Considering what I just said, this one's a bit... Broke my wrist again. And then just some more sketches of me interacting with some more of my favorite Pokemon. Um, and then I had to include Murkrow because I'd forgotten about Murkrow. And Murkrow is one of my favorites. And then this is this is because I, I really, really love Caterpie, but then in Sword and Shield, this um, Sizzlipede 
is that what it's called um shows up and i love i love that one as well and i call it bacon because it looks like bacon but that's what this one center scorch i think is and then here are some more of my favorites oh and here are more of my favorites <laughs> here are some of the ones that just wouldn't fit on the other page so i thought i'd do a showcase i guess and this one is a surprise i've never liked him or his evolutions in the past but then i was playing i think i think he's in heart gold and i needed whatever type he was for a gym and then i got attached <laughs> and so now even though he's like kind of gross looking i really really love him this is then when i watched amsterdam I really, really wanted to like that film. I thought the cast was great, which is why I had really high hopes for it, but it was kind of boring and a little lackluster. Like I still did fan art for it because it was like really in my head. I think I was just really upset that it wasn't better. So that's why I drew it. And I then also did a painting of it using gouache again, but um, something went wrong with him. <laughs> I don't know why he looks like that and I, they all look kind of weird, like uncanny valley, like it's not them. They're slightly wrong. And then I watched Tenet for the first time. I didn't realise it was the same guy until watching it, obviously. That was a really good film. I love that one. Some more Dragon Age because, of course, these were... I asked you guys for prompts on Instagram of what I should draw. And I remembered this time to actually mention who did, who asked for what. So... That's what this is. I really like how this one turned out and I turn it into a print, print for myself later. Um, and then here are some more. This is terrifying. <laughs> it was meant to be, um, you know, like a fisheye lens of a Mabari and I, it, oof, you know, <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, and then this was a gouache painting of Solus. So yeah, this is just meant to be him with the jaw of the dread wolf. I don't know, I was trying to go for imagery. I like how this bit turned out. And the writing, I don't hate. I didn't know how to do the text in a way that didn't look like garbage. So it's got some like weird word art effect on it. This is what I was talking about earlier digitized the drawing I did of Anders and Sir Pounce a lot. There was something about how it turned out that I was just so happy with. And then this is a comic of my Inquisitor and Cullen just at the Winter Palace that just popped into my head and I thought it was cute. But then as I was drawing it, I was like, I am drawing Cullen's face so many times and every single one looks different. <laughs> and it, it kind of killed me a little bit yeah and then here's just some more interactions um i turned this one into a print as well i think this was then planning for a video i did with paul rubens so if you want to know more about that i will link the video this is some of my cowboy ocs so clay and sunny i wanted to do this page similar to how i did the dragon age one so it's just all green pencil um and i i do quite like the effect there is something about drawing in colored pencil that just looks nicer at the end um so yeah i i quite like this page and this image in particular is my favorite to come out of the page um i used it at the end of my videos at one point and then this is like the last page <laughs> uh, there are a couple pages afterwards but they're full of things you'll see in a minute this is this but bigger and clearer because i wanted to do a painting of him with his horse who is his horse? Comet. I started the painting and then I didn't do anything with it. I think I sketched it out on a canvas and then stopped. So I might finish it one day. Um, I quite like it. And then this is just Clay and Sunny just saying it's the end. Um, and I finished it in August. When did I start this book? November. So it took me nine months it took me nine months basically to fill this book which is quite a while that's why i was like as soon as i started it i didn't want to do it because i was like i'm going to be using this book for a long time but this is the colored version of of that 
which I think is cute. And then this is a bunch of more post-it notes because I like to keep the post-it notes that I use for drawing ideas. And I ran out of room over here, so I spread onto this page, which is fine because I needed to do more swatching anyway, so it didn't feel like too much of a waste. Um, and then this is just a character from a game that my brother and I played. I think it's called Secret, Secret World. We played it for a bit and then when we changed levels, it just became like really boring and monotonous and tedious and we just didn't we didn't have fun as much anymore and then yeah more swatching this was i was going to cover up the tangerine face from my lemon and tangerine page but i didn't i hated this one more than that one which is why it's here instead um <laughs> yeah and then a bunch of post-it notes that just have designs and ideas that i use throughout all of this sketchbook and like reminders of things to do. There's a little Dorian. And then we've got some stuff in here. This is, this is from when I went to the doctors. This is planning for the Winter Palace comic and the Leon comic. This is a very terrible Johnny Storm because I, I watched Fantastic Four and I wanted to draw them, but then I just, I didn't like it. And I'm glad I did this on a separate piece of paper. This is just messing around with markers, scrap paper that I was like, find something to do with and I never did. Black wall and my Inquisitor. This was planning for my Ohuhu collaboration with the refills. There was going to be a Midna or a different link but this is the one I settled on instead and um, this is from an artist that I purchased from a black page uh, Connor from Detroit become human I didn't like it though so it's there more scraps of nothing oh this is Victor and I don't know her name from arcane I was going to paint them as well at the same time I was painting the other arcane stuff but I didn't uh, these are stickers from the Call of Duty thing. That's clay. That's a crowbat. That's Koenig. Is that how you how you say the name from Call of Duty as well? Um, ideas. This is a flower from France again, or multiple flowers. A thingy. More Call of Duty. More scraps of paper. This was my swatch sheet for a while. Um, just some stuff. Um, oh my god, I completely forgot about this. I was doing um, Studio Ghibli things. Uh, this is a paint thingy. <laughs> this is another leaf thing. There's so much stuff here. Uh, another Call of Duty. A uh, character from that Hogwarts game. As I was watching someone else play it. More Call of Duty. This is a birthday card I was going to stick in. Um, these. This is from the Magic the Gathering cards. This is a super old drawing that my, my brother did of our Animal Crossing characters when Wild World came out, which I found somehow. I don't know where I found them, but obviously I kept them in the back of this book. More paint cards. A screaming unicorn. A character. I made up that I don't remember what I was doing. This is an outfit a NPC in Cyberpunk had. And then this is a small, these are drawings I did for a short video. I posted on here, I think, just explaining how I did anatomy. So obviously I did soap from Call of Duty. And this is from when I ordered Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. I still haven't read it. I need to read Ninth House again. That is all of the junk at the back of the book, which I now need to put away. God, it won't go back. There's too much. So yeah, that is the end of the book. That was a lot. I am sorry if this is a long one. I might be able to cut it down so it's the same as the other, as the other ones, but lordy, <laughs> look at that. That was. A thick book and it's been a long time coming um so yes that was sketchbook 14 this is the one i'm currently working in as you can see it is a lot smaller 
the um, cover has already gotten a bit messed up, um, so I'm going to have to clean that up at some point. Um, it's going to be a while, I think, until the next sketchbook tour, because I am still working on this one. Um, you guys are going to have to wait again. <laughs> but um, hopefully I can get it done in the next couple months, but I'm not going to rush myself. I'm trying to be more chill about my sketchbooks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreons. Dispy, Megan Palmer, Grimclaw, Non-Toxic, Saint Nix, LP, Kyra May, Kay, Annabelle and Joanna. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched this video and if you made it this far, hey. <laughs> so I hope you had a great day um, and I will see you in the next video.